Hi Virgo, how are you? And welcome, welcome, welcome to your August reading. It's for my gorgeous Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new, hello and welcome. Good to have you here. My name is Svetlana. For the returning peeps, hello. Everyone gets a hello. Love you, appreciate you. Thank you for returning. Let's um let's tell the new people what we do. We heal. We got three of swords popping out here. We heal that way we can shine our love and light onto others once we're healed right from a high vibrational place. That way others can see, feel that joy, that inner peace that we are giving out. They start uh, vibrating high. And what happens when everyone's vibrating on a high love frequency? The consciousness has nowhere to go but to shift. That way we uh, start living in a more accepting, more giving, more um, grateful, right? Uh, energy and world. And who doesn't want that? Oh my God, I do, you do. So, all right, Virgo, let's go. Let's see what we need to see here, learn, whatever it is. Let's go. Thank you. Eight of Cups, okay. You know what I always say? We don't walk away, we advance. And that's what you're doing here. You're assessing, you're reassessing. You see how he's looking at the table and he's like doing do 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 Yeah, underneath the moon, beautiful. We we did just have Aquarius um, full moon and that, you guys, if you've been having crazy dreams, beautiful, uh, dream journal, please. Um your consciousness your awareness is shifting and you're embracing that right now you're looking at things differently that's what you're doing oh, your challenge is the magician yeah manifesting central king of wands hello the star oh you're healing this is go beautiful cards aquarius virgo energy scorpio the emperor Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Oh, I see. Three of uh, Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Oh, you're step okay. Justice Libra, you got major arcanas on deck. You're not playing around. Bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles. All right, so they might. There's something you're holding on to still. Four of Pentacles. There's something you're still protective of, and it's um. It's keeping you from manifesting what you truly want. So August is going to be about walking away. <laughs> walking. I never say walking away. Walking away from something that doesn't serve you though. Right? Releasing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. With that release, you're going to heal. And you're going to put things into balance for new to come in. This is gorgeous. And you're also going to be taking action. Right now, you're looking at the table. But then you're going to start moving. You're going to bring build momentum. Why is the magician your uh, challenge? What? Why is the page of swords? Knight of cups. Five of... Um, what did I just say about five of wands? What did I just say about momentum? If there's something you want to start, you want to learn something new, if there's a project, whatever it is, you have to put love and attention into it with that love comes confidence that way you can start manifesting this could be work this this could be anything in your life but you have to start moving because right now you're stagnant right now you're still looking at that table and you're doing the whole virgo thing analyzing right going this that putting pieces together but this requires love you're doing a lot of mental gymnastics right now where you should be putting love and confidence and joy and that enthusiasm into it. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, what is the Eight of Cups though? What do you keep looking at? What are you, what are you still looking at? Three of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Heavy Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Energy. You're looking at something that did not get off the ground in the past. Could have been an earth sign. And right now, you're ready. You're like, okay, well, um, if they weren't going to build with me, I'm going to start moving. I'm going to start. I'm going to take this pentacle that I put in here, something you could have worked on. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to go on my own path. 
but guess what you're still you're still um you're still holding on though you're still at four of pentacles this was a strong connection by the way we got um gemini we got the lovers on the bottom of the deck that's why you're still looking at the table that's why you're like well you know i put in and you know Virgos or earth signs too they're like well i put in this time effort so it makes it that much harder to walk away what's why is the four of pentacles here four of pentacles for my virgos yeah page of one you see he's he's walking on a new journey but you can't you can't you have to release do you see there's a person behind him sometimes you you know what you know that saying you know the cliches that i always say are cheat codes to life sometimes a soulmate is someone who's with us for a moment for a minute a week a month or a year or 50 years right some there some people are not meant to be on this journey with us throughout our whole life and we have to accept that as spiritual beings we're always moving we're always evolving we're always changing thank you and we have to accept that path of flow thank you that's where you have to meditate you have to meditate go within and see what's stopping you from um I mean, it's obviously something from the past, but you have to go and do shadow work, inner child work, because you're still holding on. Three of Cups. You're still holding on to something. Maybe a reconciliation, but look, uh, communication from the universe is trying to come in. It's trying to come in and can only come in when you silence your mind. Virgos. No, Tino Shea, we Virgos overthink. We overthink, and sometimes that clouds overthinking an ego mind stops the intuition and clarity from coming in especially when you're trying to heal what's the star for virgo what's the star what universe you okay, look you guys you guys, i can do this reading in silence ah what did i just say overthinking clouds the ego clouds are healing the star was clarified by nine of swords that's overthinking over analyzing i'm gonna sneeze I thought it, it went away. It, overthinking. Overthinking. Two of Pentacles. Indecisiveness leads to fear and doubt that gives ego full autopilot control. And what happens when you're indecisive? You're fearful, you're doubtful, you don't have confidence, and you block yourself off from the universe. You block your heart chakra, your crown chakra, your throat, every chakra that you can name. You block yourself off. And you're like, well, I'm not ready for a new path. I don't. I'm not ready to take this uh, wand, the spirit, and go alone, venture out. But dear souls, dear souls, your dreams are out there. Your dreams are out there. And you need to realize all these wands around you, they have built your confidence. They didn't, they didn't, these wands were given uh, to you to thrive with, not to uh, block yourself off with. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. What's the Knight of Swords? Whoa. Three cards came up. Wheel of Fortune, the Star, the Devil. You guys, there's forward movement. There's forward movement coming in. But the Devil, this is this is what... No, well, it's different. This is a general reading. Whatever toxic behavior this could be as simple as feeding overfeeding your thoughts this could be as sim simple nothing but you know what i'm saying you this is why meditation is so important in order to figure out what it is that's keeping us from pursuing our dreams and what it, what's keeping us stagnant what's keeping us from believing that this fortune is out there and that we're meant for it it's different. We all remember throughout our life situation, we acquire uh, these fears, these doubts that we think are real. When in reality, they're false narratives built by the ego, whatever it is, to keep us from seeing the star, from healing. Two, you guys, you got two stars here. Healing towards your wish fulfillment. I, this is beautiful. But you have to recognize your behaviors 
overindulging in something, over something. A lot of it, for a lot of uh, you guys, it is overthinking, fear and doubt. And look, High Priestess is here to say, I'm here, we're here. Your spirit guides, your angel guides, you're never alone. But you have to start acting from that belief. And it comes with confidence. Look, oh my God, you guys. You got the sun and you got Leo, spiritual strength. You have to believe that you are the sun. You are the, the conscious creator of your reality. And that you always act from your heart space. This is gorgeous. Oh, Jesus. Um, a lot of my Virgos are elevating. A lot of you are um, expanding your consciousness the, in August. This is gorgeous through healing, though. Um, and you're going to step into that Queen of Swords. That wisdom is going to come in. Let's go. What's the Queen of Swords? Speaking of. Seven of Wands. Knight of Wands. Two of Wands. This is gorgeous. So look what happened. Look what happened. Can I show you something? You went from holding on to the past. Whatever wasn't serving you. To releasing it. And you got your wand. And you started. Step by step. Step by step. You started the journey. Once you start with every step, right? You uh, you put down your guard. You went from nine of nines to seven. Seven is confidence too, but being guarded, but still with confidence. Now you have the confidence because you already took the first steps. You showed yourself you're capable. With the capable actions, confidence grew. Your respect for yourself grew. Your love for yourself grew. And then you went from a page to a night of ones where you're like, okay, I'm picking up speed. And then new, op new options, options that you thought you weren't ready or you weren't deserving of appeared. And now you're in the queen of swords energy through these little steps, right? You came up to the queen of swords where this um, decision making process is no longer, oh, oh, I, I don't know. I, it's no longer uncertain. Now you, every decision you do, uh, you pick with certainty because you're in the queen of swords. You recognize your power, your wisdom, your abundance. Abundance comes in many forms. You're no longer dilly-dallying. You're no longer overthinking. She doesn't overthink. <laughs> She's so certain and confident in her decisions. She knows they're going to lead to beautiful outcomes. And that's what you need to do. You, start, you have to start making movements. You have to start showing yourself you love yourself. And you deserve this. Once again, hi, uh, your intuition your higher self get in tune who um what's justice what's justice here what's the justice for my virgos you got the higher front six of uh pentacles six of cups past situation could have been dealing with the taurus is gonna balance itself out it's gonna back it's whatever it is you guys, everything comes in divine timing. We have justice here saying you you can't con you can't control external. But right now, what you can do is heal, work on yourself, and the rest. You got two sixes will come into balance. And also, the higher fan represents different way of thinking, restructuring your thoughts, your beliefs. So right now, you could be looking at the past in a certain way. But once you work on yourself, once you heal, once you put your thoughts in order, once you stop feeding the negativity, you will see it in a different light, in a different um, way. But it all starts with what? Within. Let's go. Who's this king of wands? Who's this king of wands, please, for my Virgos? All in divine timing. <laughs> king of wands was uh, on top of king of wands. Uh, five of swords and the empress you, you guys you, you got a fire sign coming in Tw I mean I, twice king of wands it, that's how persistent he is Sag, Aries or Leo but what happens once you heal once you embrace this change once you put down the swords this is pettiness once you put down the swords welcome and change embrace it and remember, you started out with the page. You went to the knight. You went to the queen. And then you, there it is. You have to trust trust the process. Trust the journey. And enjoy the journey that's going to take you to this um, 
Empress. And once you start vibing here, once you start believing in magic, in energy, in um, giving your, uh, opening up your heart, right? That's when someone uh, who also sees the same universe that you see comes in. And that's the beauty of it. It's never about the other person. It's about you learning healing on in this life situation. And whoever comes, you build beautiful things together because you both want beautiful things, right? You're not searching for something to completely, you're not searching, you're not feeling locked. It's two people vibrating high, knowing their passion, knowing their worth, coming together. And it's all in divine timing. This is so gorgeous. Can I just show you these beautiful, beautiful cards? You got the star. You got the empress. You got justice. This is universe just... Oh, wheel of fortune. Brand new beginnings. Brand new way of seeing yourself and the universe. This is gorgeous. Oh, brand new way we got the hangman once you flip your perspective this is gorgeous who do we have on deck really fast we got aquarius we got taurus we got libra heavy libra heavy, heavy taurus we got pisces we got virgo scorpio we got we got everyone here but best of luck um if this resonated leave a like comment subscribe hit the bell Love you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, we got a bunch of fire signs. Oh, I forgot about her. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Mr. Daddy O here. We got Leo, Sag, and Aries. Best of luck. Love you. Thank you. Namaste.